Hey everyone, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Madeline, and I create crafting content here on YouTube. In today's video, we're going on a fun little adventure, and we are going to see the yarn vending machine. So around the Philadelphia region, there is a crochet designer called Imani Milan, and she posts on her Instagram page that she had three yarn vending machines around the Philadelphia region. So I just decided today to pop out and see one of them. Um, so I believe one of them's in Center City, one is here where I am today at the Willow Grove Mall, and then the last one is in the Chestnut Hill, yeah, I think it's called the Chestnut Hill Mall in New Jersey. So all around the Philadelphia region. And she has her own line of yarn that is in the vending machine called Needles. And I believe there's yarn and there's needles. So I'm excited to see it and check it out. So if you're interested in this, I'll link to her website and her Instagram page down below in case you're curious. This video isn't sponsored or affiliated in, in any way. All opinions are my own, but I just thought it was such a cool idea. So I figured I'd take you along to show you my experience here at the yarn vending machine. And yeah, let's jump inside the mall. Oh my goodness, that place is so fun. So I did manage to get two things of yarn, or sorry, one thing of yarn and one crochet hook. And I haven't been in a mall in such a long time. It was weird. So many of the stores were closed, but the knitting machine was definitely there. Sorry, I don't know why I'm calling it the knitting machine. Um, the yarn vending machine. So what I ended up getting was one of these little bundles. So I got one thing of yarn and one crochet hook. So first I just want to give a quick little run through of what was in the machine. So in the machine, there were a couple different things that you could get. So first you could get different weights or colorways of yarn. So that was kind of over there on the right hand side of the machine. Then on the left hand side of the machine, they had pairings where you could get the yarn with the crochet hook. So the yarn is actually called needles and then it comes with a crochet hook. And I think the crochet hooks were paired with the yarn based off of the size. So I'll show you the ones I got in just one second. So the yarn ranged in price. I think it was like $10 up to $15 if I'm not mistaken. And then it looked like the yarn with the crochet hooks again, went around that $15 range. Um, I'll zoom in on all the prices though. You can see them. They're labeled just like a regular vending machine. There was a bit of a hiccup that I ran into when I was paying. So when you pay, you can either use cash and if you use cash, you have to have the exact amount. The machine can't give you change or you can pay with a card. So I was trying to pay with cash and for some reason the machine was like stuck saying there, there was $3 credit in the machine when I first walked up to it and I couldn't like get rid of it. So I essentially had to use the last person's $3 credit. Um, sorry if that was your $3 credit. <laughs> um, I had to use their $3 credit and then put in the additional money that I needed for mine. Um, so like mine was $15 total. So I used $3 in credit that was already there and then I entered in another $12. So that was something to keep in mind that if you're going, just bring exact change because the machine can't give you any. Um, but yeah, now I'm gonna take you through what I picked out. So first let's start with the yarn. So first there's a cute little sticker. It says, thank you, keep on crafting. And I'm guessing she has to put them in a the little baggie so that they don't get caught anywhere in the vending machine because that wouldn't be good. So let's open this up. Oops. So this one is, the color is called Wedgewood. And as I mentioned before, her yarn is called Needles. And it's like a t-shirt yarn, so it's stretchy. It has the print on one side, and then it's white on the back. I just loved this print. Um, so it says, four ply, 100% acrylic, needles, designer yarn by Amana Milan. Washing instructions, wash by hand, don't tumble dry. 
and then it recommends a size five millimeter knitting needle. And the one I purchased, it was the one that came with the crochet hook. So I'm guessing this crochet hook is already sized for this project. So this one, it comes in like a sealed pink bag here. And then here's the crochet hook. So it's a, it's like on one end, it's a five. On the other end, it's a six. Cool. I just think that is such a creative idea to sell yarn in a vending machine, especially because like, um, like in an airport or something like that, I feel like it would be so perfect. Because I mean, when that's a really great time to knit while you're sitting on an airplane. <laughs> Thank you for checking out my video today. If you are curious about the yarn vending machines, check out the links down below. I'll be sure to link to their Instagram page and their website down below if you're curious. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any comments or questions, please feel free to leave them down below and I'll see you next time. Bye. Here's a little swatch I knit out of the yarn. So here I am using the recommended needle size of a five millimeter or US eight. I cast on 12 stitches across here and the fabric is pretty stretchy. I think I probably would use a little bit larger of a needle size though, because it did feel a little bit tight as I was knitting along. But I just think this print is so adorable. And that's how the yarn turns up when you knit it.